Hello everyone, Sam with Gamelin Games here, here today to do a playthrough of Tiny Epic Pirates. And on my solo playthrough today, I'm going to be including content from the Crimson Silver mini expansion coming in the deluxe content, as well as... The Curse of Amdiac expansion. Now, something to note. When playing with the Curse of Amdiac expansion, there are two different ways to play. You can play, like I am today, with a normal solo captain. I'm fighting against the notorious Madame Drake, uh, including the Amdiac rules uh, with just a couple of tweaks for the normal captain. Or you can play against the ghost ship itself, which could be helmed by Amdiac or another cursed captain. Uh, but today we are playing against the normal captain of Notorious Madam Drake. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, I am the first player. I've already set everything up, so we are good to go right from the start. All right. Um, and for me, you know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to skip right on down. And I'm going to go right to crew up. So I'm going to skip those first two actions. And I'm going to crew up. And I'm going to pick up Lieutenant Flint. Which is going to help out my Captain Wendy Bird. With some great combat numbers of 4, 5, and 6. So now every 4, 5, and 6 I roll is worth 2 hits each. And I have the bonus action of every time I plunder I can move the Navy 2 spaces. Which is going to be very helpful. Because I think uh, with that card I want to keep the Navy away from me. Alright. And we got ooh Pale Pim. He's got a really good ability. When searching, I could swap a good. All right. Uh, that was that. So now we go to uh, Madam Drake's turn. Now, something to note so you guys can take a look. I am using the newest versions that we got from a manufacturer of these Skull Dice. And let me tell you, they look amazing. Look how glossy they are. And they've got the really deep gold. Uh, the model is great. I love these uh, crossbones that come through. Um, I am just loving these dice. Uh, we have worked hard to be able to get them to uh, the original form that we were showing on the Kickstarter, and I think that we have achieved that. So uh, enjoy watching those roll. But let's go for Madam Drake. All right. So she rolled a six, and uh, she will be taking her notorious action, uh, which is going to be plus one on her move uh, with plus one attack targeting a pirate ship. Now, with the Curse of MDAC rules, when targeting a pirate ship, uh, she will look and uh, whichever is closer, my uh, the you or the ghost ship, she will target there. Where it is equidistance, we'll have her target me. She has one movement normally, but she has two in rigging plus the one there, so she can actually reach me. Uh-oh, that's bad news, but luckily, one, two, three. Luckily, I crewed up with Lieutenant Flint, so I actually have a chance that maybe I could beat her this early. The plus one attack and uh, her having one in Kansas, cannons is no good, though. So she has an automatic plus two um, where I got rid of my deck and my cannons to skip some actions and left one in rigging. So let's see what she does. Her roll, rolling two dice, is double fives. Unfortunately, she does hit on fives. Uh-oh. So that each one of those is two hits plus the one in her cannons and the one automatic hit from her ability. That is a total of four. So the best that I can do is tie her if I roll fours, fives, or sixes, uh, which I prefer a tie to a loss, so. Oh, so close. A six will get me two hits, but I do not hit on a three, uh, so I will actually go down. Um, I will gain a surefire token. Madam Drake beats me, so she gets the gold of the lowest merchant ship, which is two. She gains two gold for having beaten me. Well, darn, but, 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 I have a surefire token now, and, ooh, do you guys think that I should go after her? I really like the idea of upping my movement right now and just getting that, so, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go here to search. I get to search this token, and I found two gold, which is great. Oh, something I forgot to s is that because she beat me, she did take my cursed gold. That's okay. I'm going to take it back from her right now. So I'm going to attack. I hope I don't have to use my surefire tokens. I hope I just roll high. Uh, I rolled one of them high, so that's two. Uh, I will use my surefire token to change one of those. It doesn't matter if it's a four, five, or six. All of them are even for me, so I'll change it to a five. So I have four hits, and she gets to roll two dice. She does only have the one automatic hit from having a deckhand on her cannons. 
She rolled a one and a four, so one will hit, but the four will not. So she only has two, which means I beat her. Ha <laughs> ha! That's great news. That allows me to move up on my legendary track, which gives me two gold. And I steal one of these curse gold back from her. And uh, she would gain a surefire, surefire token, but she never does, so she gets a gold instead. All right, so I got my vengeance, uh, and now we're just staring at each other malevolently in that space. And then she gets to go again. Rolled another six. Holy mackerel. Uh, okay, uh, so she would move towards me. She's already in my space, but she makes me ditch the coffee that's sitting in my boat. Um, okay, so that's, that's one of the... Uh, bonuses of the notorious captain uh, so not all captains are going to force you to lose good that's just happens to be the special ability of the notorious captain all right my turn um you know i could sit here and attack again because my attack action is next and i could choose whether to attack the merchant ship or or madam drake the benefit to attacking Madam Drake is it could move me up again on my legend track, and having three movement this early in the game would be absolutely massive. Um, the benefit of attacking the merchant ship is it would get me two gold, where right now I'm not getting any gold for um, attacking Madam Drake. But I would also get sugar cane, which is highest on the market right now. You know what? I think it's actually worth it to try and take on Madam Drake, because if I do beat her, I take this other cursed gold... And then my action right here is trade, and I can trade and get my um, my urn right off the bat, which would be super powerful. So I am going to try to do it. I'm going to move right here to attack. Man, this makes me really wish I'd have kept my dude in cannons instead of in rigging. Who? I mean, I, I had no idea she was going to come over here and just stick here. Um, oh, she did get jostled when I beat her, though. Um which would have moved her one out of rigging. Oh, see, that's what happens when I'm running the, when I'm trying to talk you guys through everything, I miss some rules sometimes. So I apologize about that. Uh, she would have jumped all the way back to here when I beat her, and then that would have moved her closer to me, and she would have only had two move. So she'd have been right here instead. Uh, that's okay. Um, I can still reach her. So I'm going to then move there and do that. All right, two dice, come on, high numbers. Fours, fives, and sixes. A one and a six. Uh, not great. So two hits. Uh, I just need her to not roll any hits. Otherwise, she'll tie me. She could beat me. Two five. Uh, she does hit on a five, but not on a two. So she gets two. I get two. We do tie, uh, which means she'll get a gold, and I will get a surefire. Dang, I was hoping that that would work, because that would have been awesome. Okay. Uh, Madam Drake gets to go again. Rolled a two this time, so she will use this deckhand to skip that first action. Move there. She's going to target the pirate ship, which is me. I'm already there. Uh, and is going to trade. So she will trade off this rum that's sitting in her boat for three. And I went ahead and dropped that on the ground. Okay. So she gets to move up three gold. So four goes up to seven. One, two, three. Leaving that cursed gold up top. And her bonus action to trading is going to be to search, so she will search this area, and she got, she doesn't use surefire tokens, so she will gain a gold instead. All right, so she is getting up there, getting ready to bury, but I have also been gaining quite a bit of gold, and even had some failed actions, so that's, you know, that's surprising, but she did cross, no, she didn't cross the ship line. She's taken so many sixes that she hasn't crossed the ship line. Okay, I'm about to cross the ship line, though, um, the trading now is not going to be nearly as good for me. Um, plundering. Oh, plundering could be good. I could get a couple, but then I'd have the ghost ship come over here and steal my cursed gold. It would make me cursed, which I honestly would be okay with. Um, oh, this is a tough call. This is a tough call. Um... I really do feel like I probably need to get some plunder in my boat, though. So I'm going to jump over here to the plunder. I'm going to move that guy into cannon. And I am going to get... I'm not going to get hit by the ghost ship. So I'm going to drop both of these guys into cannons and load up and be ready to just hit hard moving forward. Um, 
I move into this space. No, oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I move into this space, so I am going to get hit one off. I'm going to take it off of rigging. I've got, I mean, she's pretty close to me. That orange merchant is close to me. I'm going to leave them in cannons. I don't think I'm going to be moving a ton right this second. So, um, by jumping over here onto the plunder, I get to plunder that, which is going to get me two cubes. I drew two, two rum, uh, which I forgot to move, the, adjust the market when she sold it. So I drew two that were on the very lowest of the market track, which was uh, less than stellar. Um, so I got those, and as a bonus my plunder, I could move the navy too. I'm already pretty close to the navy. If I move it actually anywhere, uh, it's pretty much going to reach me, so I'm not going to. I did just cross the track, so that's going to trigger ship movement. Uh, Madam Cheng will move that merchant ship there and the green merchant ship here. And then Ghost Ship will move two towards me. Drop some Ghost Wake tokens. And the Navy will move two towards me. Down there. Oh, that, that orange uh, merchant ship is being guarded by the Navy. Okay, so now it is Madam Chang's turn. Six again, holy mackerel. Uh, targeting me, so moving right up into here, and then a double plunder action. Watch, she's going to pull double sugar cane when I pull double rum. No, uh, she got a rum and a gunpowder. A gunpowder is pretty high, uh, but the rum is just like me, very low. So that could have gone far worse. So I'm actually not too upset about that having happened. Uh, and it's my turn again. Ooh, crewing up. Crewing up would be really, really good. Okay, I'm going to crew up. So I'm going to go here. I have two movement, so I'm actually going to move into Madam Ch or into the ghost ship space. One, two, and I'm going to take that cursed gold. Because that gives me two cursed gold and makes it more likely that I'll be able to use my trade action to get the urn early. So I'm still kind of in the running to be able to get that urn early on. And it was a crew up so I can take one of these. Oh man, plundering and burying would be huge. Having an extra bury spot on your rondelle is a very big deal, uh, let me tell you. Um, Alternatively, Pale Pim is very good as well because he allows you to swap goods so you can always get something up at the top of the market. Ooh, there, these are really good options. The nice thing about Pim is he's going to make my sixes worth three, so then that Surefire token really has a big impact. Cutter Fang gives me two numbers that I don't hit on. For the moment, I'm going to take Pale Pim uh, just because I'm going fairly heavy combat uh, with loading up on my cannons. Uh, that extra hit on the sixes, I think, is going to play a part. And then I could take the good that I earned from killing a merchant ship uh, and convert it into whatever I want. Ooh, Doc Blockley, a 3-5. Every time you search, you get a gold. That is a very handy guy to have. Okay, Madam Drake. Four. So she is going to skip on over the plunder and move directly to attack. And she is going to target the orange ship. Currently has one movement plus an additional one for rigging. Uh, so only gets to move twice, but she's right next to it. So she does get to attack and she'll get an automatic two to her bonus. Where that orange ship is only two strength, if she rolls anything, she's going to defeat it. So if she rolls a one, three, or a five, she's going to win. She did roll a five, so that'll give her uh, three and that will defeat the orange merchant ship, so she will collect two gold for defeating the merchant ship. And then, um, she's going to claim that sugar cane, which is going to put, uh, which then she'll immediately sell for five. Uh, the only really good thing about that is that where she sold it when she was so high on the gold track, she wasted a couple of gold. Um, but it also means that she's going to immediately bury. So she doesn't have to spend that cursed gold, so she will end up at one, having sent that cursed gold back to the ghost ship. And she will take off her first and place it right there, having buried. So now she has two base movement, rolls two dice in combat, but 
has an automatic hit. So that was pretty good. Um, did I get rid of that merchant card? I did not. So the orange merchant drops the card. We get a new one. Still worth two. Orange Merchant gets a new booty from the booty bag and starts in the furthest corner from Madame Chang. She wants to stay far away from the person that just took her out. So, that right there. And it is now my turn again. Ooh, so I do have some pretty good options here. Um, part of me wants to just go and beat up some merchant ships. You know what I mean? Just go up and and smack them a little bit. Because I'm not quite jumping over the wheel yet. Uh, I know the next time I want to trade, I want to get rid of this Curse Gold and get that urn. So I'm going to go up. I think I'm going to attack the Green Merchant Ship. Uh, so I'm going to just move to the search action. I'm going to lose one of those cannons because I'm going to sail into the storm. So I'll get jostled. But I think that's going to be okay because it only has two. I do have a surefire token if I need it. Hopefully I won't. So I sail two into there. And I'm going to attack. Oh, first I search, so I get to see what's here. Two gold! Oh, that's great news. I am getting lucky with this gold on these search tokens. One, two. All right, and let's attack this green merchant ship. I roll my two dice. Come on, baby. Sixes, sixes. I got a six! Oh, that's great. So six is three hits. Uh, plus my one for four. Two doesn't do anything for me, but I smoked that ship, so that's going to give me an additional two gold. One, two. And I defeat the merchant ship. I'm going to take that sugar cane, even though it's not worth all that much right now. It will be worth more later on. Okay, reset that green ship. Now the green ship's moving as far away from me as possible. Well, I'm going to get... Oh, no. I'm reaching all the way across the table trying to stay out of camera view. I know I'm not always going to be successful, so if you catch glimpses of my shirt or my beard, I apologize. Okay, and uh, a rum. So is now carrying a rum. There's lots of rum on the board. Lots of rum and sugar cane, which is not very expensive. Unfortunately, Madam Cheng is holding a gunpowder, which is very expensive. Uh, okay, that was my successful search action. Oh! I did pick up Pale Pim so I could swap out one of those goods. Well, why not? I'm going to swap out that sugar cane. Ooh, not for a gunpowder, but instead for a coffee. And the reason that I'm doing that is I think that Madam Chang will likely pick up either another good or take the sell action before I ever get back there because my next sell action is going to be trading in some cursed gold for an urn. So I'm going to be prepared with the next best thing. Okay. Uh, that was my turn, uh, which means it's now Madam Chang once more. Rolled a one, so she will skip over the search, move over to here onto the uh, crew up space. We'll try to move towards orange. She currently has two movement, uh, so we'll prioritize vertical movement. So moving up here. Uh, with her two movement, and she will crew up, draw the top card of the crew deck, and got, ooh, Tina Trick Shot. So it makes her fives, two hits, and uh, adds a four to her repertoire of hits. And her bonus action for crewing up is actually to make me lose a gold. Well, that's not nice. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Uh, and then Madam Chang did cross the line, so it is going to be my turn. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and move that orange ship right into my space, because why not? And the green one, I will move over. And the navy is going to smack Madam Chang and fully jostle her. And she will retreat to the nearest cove, which is actually just right next door. And then the ghost ship... We'll move, oh, I landed it on a church token. And so we'll drop some Ghost Wake tokens. Okay, that was Madam Chang's turn. It's now my turn. I was going to skip straight to the uh, trading, uh, but since I have the orange ship in my location, I mean, why not? Might as well take a, take a chance at it, get some gold here. 
Uh, let's roll my two dice. Looking for sixes. I did get a six. Oh, sweet. Six and a five. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Listen, one of the cannons, six. Oh, I have definitely beaten that orange ship. So I go from eight to ten. I'm going to be able to claim... I don't want that sugar cane. I think that sugar cane's worthless, so I'm not even going to worry about it. So now, both merchant ships are at a strength of four, which means that if I defeat either merchant ship now, I'm actually going to increase my legend level at the same time, which would be pretty big for me, because it's going to unlock a new movement, a deck hand, uh, and then also moving me towards getting more gold and more dice. And this merchant ship comes out with a gunpowder. Okay, that was that. So now we are going to jump to Madam Chang. Roll to one again. Uh, she's not going to be able to stay there or get back. So she's going to go as far as she can along her wheel, which is going to take her to search. Trying to target the green ship. So moving straight down. She has only two movement right now, except for the fact that her bonus is she gets plus two movement when she's searching. Uh, so she does get to move all the way down to the green. Lucky enough for me, that does not actually have a search token in there. Huzzah! So that was great for me. It's not often that uh, that the solo pirate wastes actions like that. Uh, so whenever they do, you need to take full advantage. Um, otherwise, because uh, they don't they don't do it very often, and it's a big relief when they happen to do that. Okay, so now it is my turn. Um, and this is going to work out perfectly because I'm going to take the trade action. I'm going to sell off my cursed gold and I'm going to have the ghost ship hit me. So I'll become cursed, but I won't have any more cursed gold to take. So, yeah, I will get jostled, which is not fantastic, but uh, but that's OK. Um, because to get to the trading location, I have to go through a storm anyway. So I'm going to get jostled no matter what. Oh, and the Navy will not hit me because I haven't buried yet. Still only moving two. Okay, so I did that. Uh, I'll jostle myself prematurely because I know I'm going to be moving through a storm. So I will go up and go one, two, and I get my urn token. So that is a big deal for me. I haven't quite buried yet, but I'm very close. This doesn't require gold for me to bury, uh, so it's okay. I actually think I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Um... It's still close. I mean, Madam Chang is still doing a really great job. She's already buried once. But I feel pretty confident so far. I think, I think I'm in a good place. All right, so I crossed the ship line, so the ships move. Madam Chang will move them, prioritizing vertical movement. Uh, but they're both having to move there. So then this will move two. And that will move two towards me, dropping a couple of these Ghost Wake tokens. Now, those Ghost Wake tokens are kind of a press your luck a little bit. They can be better and have more and more gold uh, than the normal exploration tokens, but they can also jostle you. So uh, it's, it's kind of a, you never know. But now that the ghost ship has landed in me, I land in my space. I am cursed. So Wendy Bird becomes cursed Wendy Bird. Dark Captain Wendy Bird. So now anytime that I plunder, I can also gain a cursed gold when I plunder and... When I hire crew, if I'm on one of these two spots up here, because you see those crew symbols, the skeleton crew symbols, I can hire skeleton crew, which have some really cool special abilities. Great. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, now it's Madam Cheng's turn. She rolled a three, so she will try to go as far as possible. All her deckhands are on the wheel, so she can only get to one. Targeting the orange ship, she can get to the orange ship, though, so one, two. She will then crew up, take the top card of the crew deck. She got Taylor True North, uh, which is going to give double uh, give her a, double up her ones, and then because she has a four with Tina Trickshot, she now doubled up her fours as well. So she is definitely getting better and a little bit more scary to be able to deal with. Uh, the bonus action for that crew member is going to make me lose a gold. Yeah, <laughs> dang it. Ah, oh, right as I get closer and closer, it just, like, smacks me down and says, No, you can't get that gold. Why would you get the gold? Darn. Okay, that's all right. Things are going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Okay. Uh, so she did cross the ship line, though, so the ships are going to move towards her. I get to move these guys. I'll move the green ship up there. 
I'll also move the orange ship up here. Uh, she was buried once, so the Navy moves three towards her. I'll go one, two, three. And the ghost ship moves two. I'll just keep moving it along so I don't have to drop any more ghost wake tokens. Because I know Madam Drake does like to search. And so I want to leave those possibly good tokens off the map so she doesn't claim them. And now it's my turn. Now... I would probably plunder, except for the fact that my ship is full and I just took the trade action. So I think I want to focus on really getting a good attack in, but I only have to move. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to skip over plunder and I'm going to go to crew up. And I'm going to move a little bit closer to those ships. Uh, I'm going to move up here. So one, two. Um, and I'm going to gain a new crew member. Oh, see, these guys are all really good. Uh, I think I'm going to take Cutter Fang, though, because having having an additional berry is just really, really handy, especially with the Curse of Ambiac expansion, being able to bury the, the urn without spending, without needing, like, the full 12 or 13 gold. Uh, an additional berry action is just so good. Uh, doubles up a three and gives me a two to hit. So, uh, you know, kind of helps my combat. Doesn't specialize me in a certain number, but it does it kind of more rounds out more likelihood that I'll hit something. And it got me over here, so I'm good with that. All right. Madam Drake, four. So she is going to be able to skip all the way to four. Um, so over to here. So she's going to drop all of these guys and put them to work. Her four is attack, attacking the orange, so she's going to move right up here and attack the orange ship. And that, she's going to roll two dice. She has one automatic hit from her notorious uh, um, personality, and then the bonus action is plus two. So she has automatic three hits. She needs to roll two hits still, though, to sink the ship because it's at level four. A six does not hit at all, and a two does not hit at all. Are you kidding me? Wow! She didn't get a single hit, so she actually lost to that merchant ship. Uh, that's going to jostle her. She'll get a surefire token, so uh, one gold instead. Uh, she jostles off of rigging. Wow! She just needed a single hit, because I didn't even look. She had one in cannons, too. She just needed one hit, and she rolled the two numbers that she doesn't hit on. Wow! Today is a good day for me. Uh, and she would retreat to the cove. She's actually in the cove right now, so just stays there. Wow, that was great. I am, I am feeling good. All right, so now I'm going to take the search action, and I can't go after Madame Cheng because she is hiding out in a cove right now. Um, but you know what I will do is I will go after the green merchant ship that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go after the green merchant ship because if i beat the green merchant ship i get a third rum if i beat this i will get up to 13 gold i'll be able to bury and then i can trade and i could trade all three of those rum for nine gold if if uh madam chang moves the market at all in between then it could be up to 12 gold which would be just a big 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 deal for me so okay yeah, I feel good about that. All right. Uh, we are going to attack, so I get to roll two dice. I am hoping for sixes. Hoping for sixes. I need to get five. Oh, and I don't have any automatic hits. So I basically need to roll... I need a six. I need a six. I rolled a five and a three. Uh, my fives are two hits. My threes are two hits, so that's currently four. But I have a surefire token, so I'm going to use a surefire token to change either one of these to a six, because my six hits for three. So one, two, three... Four, five is enough to beat it. Uh, so I take that out and get four gold. One, two, three, four. I move up on my legendary track because I'm in a one or two player game, which means the fours move me up. I get a new deck hand, which I'm going to put into cannons. Um, I am going to take that rum that that green ship is carrying. And, oh yeah, things are, things are looking good. Take that rum the green ship is carrying. It is going to spawn over there, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So it's going to spawn at that port as far away from me as possible. Uh, and he's coming back with a rum. So four, that will go to the bottom of the deck. And I have three movement now as a base move, which is a big deal. Okay. 
and I have 13 gold, so I'm ready to bury just as soon as I can get to an action. Okay, roll for Madam Chang, or Madam Drake, I apologize. And five. So I was going to move right there. It's going to be search. Uh, she is headed towards the green ship, uh, which the bonus action on her search is actually gets plus two move. So she currently has two, three, four, and then has one in rigging. So five total movement to try and get to the green ship. One, two, three, four, five does make it there. Traveled a long way for it uh, and gets to search that token and found three gold. Wow, that was a good, that was a good find. One, two, three gold. Okay. My turn. Um, so I could go and attack. I'm full up on my ship. I'm full up on my gold. Honestly, I just need to bury. So I am going to utilize Cutter Fang's bonus action. I'm going to skip over attack. I'm going to skip over trade. And I'm going to land right here on... Um, on plunder. And I'm actually going to drop this guy in extort uh, because I want to get a gold. And where should I go to plunder? I guess I can stay right here. Plunder, I will be able to move the navy away from me, which I really want to do. Um, ooh, I'll get jostled by the ghost ship. Navy's going to be moving. Oh, I need to. I need to bury. Problem is, these guys are just to the point where I'm going to get hit by one of them. So I will get jostled once, but I can jostle the one off my extort. So I'll move. I don't really care about plundering. Um, because I'm just going to keep all three of those rum. It doesn't really make sense for me to not keep all of those. So I will move up to here. I would move into the storm and sell for one less gold, but then I'd have to, like, I'd lose the guy with my cannons as well, and I kind of want to keep that auto hit ready. Uh, so now, my first bonus action, I'll use Lieutenant Flint and move the Navy down here so that I don't get hit by the Navy. Uh, and I will use Cutter Fang's bonus, and I'm going to sell all 13 of my gold uh, right there, which is going to allow me to bury. Great! Okay, so I buried my gold right there, and that does finish my bonus action, so that completes it, but I crossed the ship line, so the ships do get to move. Uh, Madam Drake is moving these, so moving them as far away from me as possible while still going towards their destination. Uh, moves three, one, two, three, and the ghost ship moves into my space. Uh, I don't have any cursed gold, but it does jostle me but I get my extort before um, I would get jostled. So I do get the one gold there. So moving into extort, I think, was a helpful thing for me. Okay, and now Madam Drake rolled five, already on five. So we'll try to skip to get as far as possible to get two there uh, onto attack and targeting the orange ship on the attack has total of two movement. So it's not going to make it all the way to the orange ship. It will make it into my space, though. Um, and that will be it. Okay. Because it wasn't able to make it towards its target ship. All right. And now it is my turn. I would like to crew up, but I I feel like I'm in a race right now, and I just want to get... Uh, I want to I wanna get this done, so... I'm going to skip over the crew up action and end up on the search action. And I just want to go to a curse spot. And since I have, oh, I do have one gold. But one gold is fine. I have the opportunity to bury my urn and do it in a great way. So I have three total move. Uh, the green ship is on a cursed space. I would be able to get to it. I'd lose my extra bonus hit on my cannons. And I wouldn't be able to search there because there's no token. But that's okay. I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three. So the first time I get jostled off of my cannons, the second time I'll jostle right off of that space to go through those storms. Uh, I would do a search first. I don't have anything to search. Uh, then I can bury... And that's where I will bury my urn and all gold that I have, which is going to be that. So I have now buried my urn. 
Great. And now I get to attack that green ship. And I don't have a surefire token anymore. Uh, and I jostled off of my cannon, so this is kind of a Hail Mary. I need to roll a six and then another one of my good numbers, like a four, five, or a three. Well, it didn't quite happen. I rolled a five and a one. I don't hit on the ones. My five is only worth two. So I only had two against the strength of four, so I do lose. I'm going to get jostled, but I will get a surefire token. I mean, it was worth a shot, you know? And I could swap out. I don't really feel like it, though, because, once again, I'm just going to try and sell that rum uh, if I can. So now it is Madam Drake's turn. Three. Okay. Uh, she will try to skip to three, but because she's fully on this, she's just going to move to search. She's going to try to move to the green ship to search with a plus two movement, so she's definitely going to reach it. And, just like I tried to search there before, there's nothing there to search. Ha! Take that, Madam Drake. Uh, and did not cross the ship line, so it is my turn. So I can attack. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So... I think I'm going to attack Madam Drake. Because right now, she has one automatic hit. And only rolls two dice. I doubt that she's going to get higher than four. And I don't need... I don't need the four gold from the green ship if I get this because I'll sell. I mean, I'll trade. I'll trade in that rum for currently nine. So four would put me at 13. And then I can save that green ship for later. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to attack Madam Drake. That's right, Madam Drake. Let's do this. Uh, I get to roll two dice. Come on, roll a six. Roll a six for me. I did roll a six. Holy cow. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, I could use my Surefire token to make it a 6, to change this to a 6, to actually give me 6 hits. I'm going to stay with 5 hits, though. I feel okay that she's not going to get more than 4. So she rolls. Uh, she has the 1 automatic. 5 for her is worth 2, and 3 is worth 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and I had 5, so I win. Yes! Move up there. It's going to gain me 4 gold. Uh, she loses, but we'll gain a 1 for the Surefire. She will get jostled and will retreat to the nearest cove, which there is actually, I think right here. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. She'll retreat to this cove and have gotten jostled. Yes, okay. And then Madam Drake is going to go now. Rolls two, is able to skip all the way to the two, which is her trade action. Oh, which makes mine even better. Uh, she will get five gold, though. Puts her one short of burying. Uh, so trading, heading towards a pirate ship. Uh, the ghost ship is actually closest. Oh, no! Because she moved towards the ghost ship, she's going to take that cursed gold and then trade. So she'll sell that gunpowder, which is worth five. So it puts her from six all the way up to 11, and the cursed gold puts her at 12. Oh, I thought I was going to get lucky and she was going to be one shy and maybe waste a bunch of gold on an action, but it does not appear that that's the case because she targeted the ghost ship and got that temporary gold. Dang it. And then she searches because she'll bury at the end of her turn. Uh, she would get an additional gold, so I guess she would have done it anyway um, and buries all these, but she does have the one gold left over because she spent the cursed gold and buries... So it takes off her third berry or her second berry token. Uh, closest space because that one's already taken, so it's going to be down here that she buries and cross the ship line. So first we'll move. This orange ship is on its way. Green ship will move down here. Navy is going to hit her, fully jostle her, and move her to right there. She doesn't have any extort on her things, so otherwise she might have gotten some extort bonuses. And then the ghost ship moves into her space. Oh, I tipped the ghost ship. All right, so on my turn, I could go down, or I could skip over, where's the closest rum selling location? I could go down to and sell at the floating market, 
But there is a rum cellar right there, which would not raise the attention of the Navy. Uh, I'll probably attack that floating market in the future, though. That floating market is would be really good. Uh, so I am going to skip on over to trade. I will drop that into cannons. Um, four, eight, eight, and four. Oh, maybe I only have to sell one of those to get to 12. Well, that's great. So I'll sell two or one, two, three right here. Oh, I am going to get hit by the Navy, unfortunately. So I will put in an extort. Um, one, two, three to sell my rum. Uh, because Madam Drake sold, I'm only going to choose to sell two of my rum instead of all three. So I get to keep one for eight. So eight plus four is 12. I jump all the way up to 12. Uh, we'll adjust that market. And uh, I will then get my extort bonus because I just crossed the ship line. So I move up to 13. And then ships move. So Madam Drake moves. Orange ship right there. Green ship uh, just looks to see how to move as far away from me as possible while still trying to achieve its goal. This puts it within one of me. That puts it within two, but still moving towards its goal. So Madam Drake will move it right down into there. And then the Navy comes to get me. Oh, smacks me around, fully jostles me. And the ghost ship will move towards me as well, dropping some ghost wake tokens. All right, we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Madam Drake's turn. Three. So she'll just move one spot to plunder, moving towards the green ship, uh, which is all the way down there. She currently has three movement. So one, two, three. Uh, plunder, so she'll draw a cube from the bag. Drew a gunpowder, so she's currently holding on to the two lowest goods. I'm all right with that. And the bonus action is a search, but there are no tokens in her spot. So she's wasted a lot of searches. She could be at a lot more gold right now had more of her searches been effective, but they have not, which is good news for me. So now I need to bury... And then I need to bury one more time. Good news is I have full gold. I picked up Cutter Fang, so I can bury right here and pick up some new stuff. Unfortunately, I can't move into a stormy location because I'm fully jostled because I got hit by the Navy. So I will have to spend the full 13 gold. Um, so I'm going to go right here. Oh, where's, a, where's somewhere where I can plunder and bury? up here, and over there. Over there is better. I'm going to move over there. I will plunder first. So I pulled out uh, some more rum, because I am just a... I'm a bootlegger, apparently, this game. I'm running a lot of rum. And another bonus action is I can move the Navy. I want to move that Navy as far away from me as possible. So get out of here, Navy. And I can bury. So I'm going to bury that 13 gold right here and now I just need to bury one more time and I will be able to win so bury that 13 gold cool oh, and I moved right here I did that okay Madam Drake five so Madam Drake will go ahead and skip the attack action and move to the search heading towards the green uh, with three movements, so she will actually make it to the green space. Hey, we're all clumped down in that corner. Oh, man, that means she's going to try to draw the navy to me. I don't like that. Uh, we'll search that location. Uh, now, where these are, she can search the ghost wake tokens, but she will always prioritize the normal tokens first. Uh, surefire token, she doesn't need surefire tokens, so she just gains a gold instead. Didn't cross the ship line, so it is my turn. Um... Huh. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip over the crew up and I'm going to move to the search. I'm going to drop down into here, which is going to jostle me off of that. And I get to search this token first, which it is. <laughs> it's the mermaids. So I would have gotten jostled. I'm fully jostled, so it doesn't hurt me, which I guess is good, but I really have liked, you know, one of those big gold ones. That would have been great. And I will use my 
bonus action of attacking, and I'm actually going to attack the market. I'm going to attack the floating market. Um, and I'm rolling three dice now because I'm a swashbuckler. And I still have a surefire token because I didn't use it last time I fat fought um, Madam Drake. Oh, double sixes. Hello, Dolly. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't hit on a one, but six is enough to beat it because the floating fortresses go off of the highest merchant ship, which is only four. Oh, that's great news. Um, so I'm going to gain four gold from uh, beating the floating fortress. I'll gain a crimson silver, which uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera if it's good enough, but there is some metallic -y silver in that red. Um, and I get to move up on my legendary track, so now I have four movement, and I gained a surefire token as my bonus for moving up there. And that, uh, I could swap out goods. Uh, she doesn't have any coffee. Coffee is tops. I'm going to swap out one of these rum for a coffee. And... So that way, I am basically set up to trade and then bury, and then I'm going to win. That's right. Trade, bury. I am two actions away from winning. Um, because I use the floating market, it does move, and it does trigger the navy uh, to come after me, which currently has a movement against me of four. So one, two, three, four. Does not quite hit me. And now it is Madam Drake's turn. I hope she attacks me. I hope there's a way that she comes in and tries to attack me because I'm just going to lay the smack down. Roll the two, so she will skip on over. Nope, she's going to trade, heads towards pirate ship in my location then, and is going to trade. Uh, her highest good right now is that gunpowder for three. So one, two, three. Trades in her gunpowder. And the bonus action for her trade... Um, is to search, but she's still in the location because we, we, <laughs> there were two there not very long ago, and then we got rid of them uh, by searching. She searched, she searched one, and I searched one. Okay, uh, she crossed the ship line, so that is going to trigger ship movement. Uh, orange ship's going to move there. Green ship, I have to move here. Uh, Navy's going to come in and just fully jostle her, and then she'll retreat to the nearest cove, which is going to be over there. And then a ghost ship will move in and drop a ghost weight token behind. Okay, now it's my turn. I know what I need to do. All I need to do is trade. Um, so I'm going to skip that, move to the trade. I currently have four move. If I could get to a coffee trading location, I can do it there. Or I could try and make it all the way to a floating market and trade there, which I know I could reach here. Where are the coffee selling locations? i got a coffee selling location right there. Um... It will trigger the Navy to hit me, but the Navy Navy's going to hit me pretty much no matter what. So I'm just going to go there. I'm going to trade my coffee, and I'm going to trade the Crimson Silver as a coffee because it does act as a wild. So I trade it for 10 total gold. Bada bing, bada boom. Moving that up, trade for 10 total gold. Maxing out my gold, which is great. I cross the ship line. We'll just do this quickly. Uh, orange reaches its destination, so it's going to swap out a good. Comes back with some gunpowder instead. Green moves one spot. Navy's going to come up and hit me and fully jostle me. Ghost ship comes in. Uh, I'm already fully jostled, so no big deal. Madam Drake gets one more action. I don't think she's going to bury twice in one action. Three. So she'll go in. She'll go to plunder towards the green ship. Move down here. She will plunder a... Brown cube, so she got some coffee, and she'll search. Found a plus two movement. She doesn't use that, so she gets a gold. And then on my turn, I can just go ahead and use this bonus action. Doesn't matter where I go, because I'm maxed out on gold. I can just move right down here and bury my final token. All right, there it is, everybody. My victory against the notorious Madam Drake using the Crimson Silver and Curse of Amdiac expansions. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. I'll try to monitor those. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out Tiny Epic Pirates. 
uh, due to come in next year. You may have just a couple more days to join the Crowdox late if you're watching this uh, very soon after I post it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and game on.